We've got two separate incidents to tell you about. First, police say an officer tried to chase down an erratic driver near a gas station. This was on Tidewater Drive. That driver ran a red light and hit two cars. Then a few blocks away, a stolen car hit a police officer on a motorcycle. We now know that officer was responding to the first crash when he was hit. Ted on your side, Liz Kilmer is at the scene. Liz, a lot to sort out tonight. We know police caught the erratic driver, but the other driver who hit the officer hasn't been tracked down. Yeah, that person is still on the loose at this hour. Now, talk about two crazy and separate incidents happening here at once. It all started, as you said, when a female driver was spotted traveling erratically in a pickup truck that was eventually determined to be stolen in the area of this Sitco gas station here. Now, an officer pursued her. This was just after four. She fled. We're told she ran a red light, police say, at 26th and Leo Street, where she struck two vehicles and continued on. Now, the video you're seeing here. This is 27th Street and Ruffin Way, where the pickup truck police say hit another vehicle before veering off the road, striking a fence and a tree. As you can see here, that truck lit on fire. The female driver, we're told, got out and ran, but was arrested soon after, and charges against her are pending. Now, as that pursuit was getting underway, we're told an officer on a motorcycle was coming to the gas station seen here to assist when someone in a stolen white Acura made an illegal U-turn and hit the officer. Now, that driver got out and ran. Police, again, are still looking for that man. Now, meantime, we're told the officer who was struck as well well as the drivers of the other vehicles that were struck during these incidents. Well, we're told they are all expected to be okay. Now, we're going to continue following this developing story. We'll bring you updates as soon as we can. For now, I'm live in Norfolk. Liz Kilmer, 10 on your side.